Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the idea of optimal taxation. Let's have a look into this. The idea of optimal taxation would be exploring a Pareto efficient tax structure. And when we say Pareto efficient tax structure, this would be maximizing the welfare of people. And whenever this is being done, there are certain constraints that we have to consider these are the constraints of fairness or equity and also efficiency we have already considered what is efficiency of tax what is equity of tax for the very same reason it would be very much possible for us to consider a Pareto efficient tax that maximizes the utility of the economy whenever we attain Pareto efficiency we could see that this is a point that would be happened in a scenario if we have two people A and B. We can increase the utility of A only by reducing the utility of B or we can increase the utility of B and this can be done only by reducing the utility of A. Because we have already attained the efficient stage. An optimal tax is something that would deal with cost minimization. This would deal with the cost incurred in uh, relation to administration, the cost incurred in relation to assessment and also the cost incurred by people. People will also in, incur a lot many costs when it comes to taxation. But here we deal with cost minimization aspect. That means whichever tax is having a less cost, whichever tax is having a less cost, that tax can be considered as optimal from the perspective of cost minimization aspect. Again. An optimal tax would be a fair tax. And what does it mean by fair? It deals with the ability to pay taxes. Different people will be having different income. And for the very same reason, you should not make every person to give same amount of tax. The rule should be in such a manner to make people to pay taxes as per their ability to pay taxes. Again, having discussed the equity consideration, let us consider the efficiency consideration. We have already discussed in detail the equity and efficiency principles of taxation. I will be providing the link of that particular video in the description box. So, if you have not watched uh, those video, uh, that particular video or if you do not know uh, an idea regarding uh, efficiency and equity consideration of taxation you can go through that particular video okay moving to efficiency consideration of tax we are dealing with minimum debt weight loss whenever we have a minimum debt weight loss as a result of taxation we can consider the tax as efficient and also we are dealing with least possibility of having distortionary effects I have already told you that distortionary effect would can uh, this can happen as a result of tax for example as a result of increased tax people might think why should I work more if as a result of increased income tax people think that even if I work more my income will be taken by the government in the form of tax so this will be making the people to go for reduced hours of work and whenever that is being done it will lead to reduction in the output in the economy which will also lead to fall in growth when you check the literature on optimal taxation they are having many many models which deal with the tax uh, tax when it comes to optimal tax some models deal with some feasible taxes 
and they say that there are there can be some set of feasible taxes which could be utilized by the government to raise its revenue we could see that tax is an important source of revenue to government so when we say uh, tax as something which could be used as revenue increasing revenue to the government the model specifies such models would be specifying certain feasible taxes which could be attainable when the government tries to get revenue increased again there are certain other theories which deal with the preferences of individuals as well as firms to go for taxes here we could see that different people would be responding differently to taxes some people consider it as their obligation to pay taxes whereas some people try to evade taxes even though tax evasion is something which is an identified as an offense so whenever we build model related to optimal tax we have to consider these two categories of people also again when it comes to optimal taxation the literature identify another important aspect which is known as the objective function of the government what is the main objective function of the government the government wants to increase the revenue whenever the government wants to increase the revenue the constraint here is this is the objective function objective function and uh, whenever the government wishes to increase its revenue the constraint here is Let consider it as objective. Let it be so simple in explaining. So, the objective of the government would be maximizing its revenue, and the constraint here would be burden that tax will be making on people because people always identify tax as a burden. So, objective of government is to maximize its revenue with the constraint of people considering tax as a burden. the government want to minimize the burden okay so the government has to us twice think before implementing a tax because the government has got some twin objectives here the first thing maximize revenue the second thing minimize tax burden that's it regarding today's session on optimal taxation hope you would have some understanding regarding the idea of optimal taxation uh, thank you for watching you can also like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos also you can join our free telegram community to discuss your doubts i'll be providing the link of this in the description box you can also download learn economy app for which also i'll be providing the link in the description box thank you